On that morning of the 24th of June, one of the issues that disappeared off the radar of British politics was immigration. It had been the dominant issue every year for the previous five years, the thing that people were talking about. And I think with the Brexit vote, people thought, well, that's it. It's done. It's sorted. It's all over. Well, take us to this election where certainly the Labour Party conference appear to want to open up the doors uh, pretty unconditionally and where the Labour manifesto makes it very clear that foreign nationals coming into the country will, of course, get the vote, it would appear pretty much immediately. Now, from the Conservatives, well, I've been saying for years we need an Australian-style point system, and at least they're now saying that. But, of course, they make absolutely no commitment whatsoever to reducing numbers. And the truth of it is, they've got no intention to reduce numbers. Many of their big business backers want as much cheap labour as they can possibly get into this country. We have a population crisis, directly as a result of policies since the late 1990s, and you see that uh, not just on the impact on public services, but actually there's an argument here about the quality of life. There's an argument here that as we inexorably head towards 70 million people being here by the end of the next decade, uh, that actually that does damage to people's lives, to people's communities. You cannot measure how content a country is by simply looking at GDP numbers. There is such a thing as society and community, and I think that has too much been ignored. So we would very much want, very much want, to get immigration numbers down to what for 60 years were very acceptable and very workable post war levels. And yes, I'm talking around about 50,000 people every year. But of course, we're going to need flexibility on work permits. But please recognise the difference between the automatic right to settle and the right to come and work for a time-limited period. And